Chris, speak on it. Couple things to address, man. I know it's so many stylists out here, so many people with gifts and talents, and y'all have y'all whole rule book when somebody come to you, oh, you can't be late, uh, 15 minutes late, that's a $25 extra charge. Um, when you come, bring your own gel. When you come, um, have your hair washed, blah, blah, blah. But nobody ever out here makes a video in regard to the client and how the client feels sometimes about what goes on atmospherically in shops, whether it's, you know, from your nail tech to whomever's doing your feet, your pedicures, and you know, your hair, everything like that. So I'm gonna address these issues. But those of you who are out here, you have extremely great gifts and talents that people come and pay top-notch dollars to sit in your chair. Let me tell you, first and foremost, the hospitality. You got to correct your attitude. When somebody come in and sitting in your chair, the last thing that they want to deal with is your attitude. We don't want to deal with the fact that you got into it with your baby daddy or whatever the case is. Um, You can come sit in a chair. Well, hey, how are you? Okay, no, this is what I want for my hair. Y'all be talking about the clients, but I'm going to talk about you because you got to fix that too. Another thing is that body odor. <laughs> That body odor be so real. And y'all know, for those of you who are in these southern states out here, it's hot out this dope. But you got to be careful about that, man. You over people here. Right now, hold your head down. Hold your head. You, man, y'all all over these people. And you not even taking care of your scent. Making sure that you have a pleasant fragrance. That people feel good about sitting in your chair. Another thing is that while people are in your chair and you want them to keep their head straight or do whatever the case may be while you're performing your service, you don't understand that you may be very used to your environment from your kids crying to Roscoe and Camilla, the local neighborhood, rats and roaches crossing people's feet. You're used to that, but everyone else is not used to that that may come and sit in your chair to get their service done. And you may be like, um, you just need to get with it. It's, it's a roach. It's okay. You just get your hair done. It's like, no, baby. This a roach is a roach, but them flying reptiles y'all be having around here, it's not the business. The last and final thing is just overall, y'all got to be very, very careful with how you treat your clients all together. It's one of those things where, yes, you have great gifts and talents, but you cannot become so cocky with your talents as if, well, people just going to come to me. No. Never never underestimate the power of word of mouth. So many people come into your shop or come into your home because somebody has heard about what you do or saw your work. But at the same time, the same word of mouth that got people there is the same type of word of mouth that can destroy your business. So you can't treat your clients like crap, man. Make sure that environment is clean. Make sure your body odor is together. And please, you got them crying kids and whatnot. Don't have little peanut, you know, eating Cheetos all over your client's feet and stuff like that. Y'all get that together because you can have such a prosperous business. But I want y'all to understand from the flip side what the clients go through. So that's just a little golden nugget. We love you so much. And thank you for everybody who beautify us and get us together. But y'all got to do better on some realms too. Love you. Mwah. Uh, but I keep it real and I don't think I'll ever change I'll never lie if you can look me in the face I swear to God that we it isn't in my veins I'll never change I keep it real, I keep it real, my nigga I keep it real, I keep it real, my nigga I keep it real, I keep it real, my nigga I keep it real, that's how I feel My nigga just keep it real